Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. This is another video in my series of how to use Bridge. We're going to use Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, and Photoshop together to process our photos. Bridge is your workspace, your workhorse. This is where we're going to do a lot of the work on our photographs and if you learn how to use Bridge, you'll find that a lot of things we need to do to our photographs that are really mundane can be streamlined by using Bridge. First video taught you how to set up your Bridge. Second video was an introduction to Bridge. This video is to show you how to set up your preferences. And so if you would follow along with me, click Bridge right up here and it's the same thing as you have if you were working on a PC, by the way, only it's going to be under File. So for a Mac, it's you just click on the Adobe Bridge and then come down to Camera Raw Preferences. Click here, and when you go to Camera Raw Preferences, you'll notice we only have three things that we have to deal with here. The most important is Sidecar XMP files. We want to make sure that that is clicked. The option is raw database, but we want your sidecars. What a sidecar is, is when we work on a photo in Photoshop, Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, when we work on a photo, this applies over in Lightroom as well, the changes to that photo are all kept in a separate file. Throw that separate file away, it's called an XMP file, and everything you ever did to that photo is gone. So we want to keep everything that we did in an XMP file and it stays right with the raw file in your files. So make sure that this one is set. Apply sharpening, if you would like, to all of your images or preview images only. Remember you can change this later on if you want to. I don't set any of these default image settings. And the reason that I don't is this just goes in and pre-processes your photo for you. Some people love to do this, some people don't really want to work on each photo or batches of photos, and they'd rather just have some presets. Feel free to check them if you want to, uncheck them, see how you like them. That Camera Raw Cache is where every time we open a photo in Bridge, it builds a little thumbnail of that photo so that the next time we open that photo, it opens faster. So these are your camera raw cache. These are the little thumbnails of each photo that you work on. This will build up after a while because you see we're setting aside five gigabytes on this computer for it. it builds up. Periodically, we need to purge cache. And if I punch this button right here, it'll purge the cache for all of the photos that I've been working on. This is what I do after I've moved my photos off of this computer and put them into long-term storage, backed them up to the cloud, etc. I'm not going to need the thumbnails for those little photos. So for instance, your photos from Easter 2015, you're probably not going to go back into those photos too often. And as a result, we don't need the cache for those photos to be clogging up our computer. So that's what this little area is right here. You don't have to check anything, just make sure that it looks like mine. Keyboard shortcuts, we're, I'm not going to do anything with that. File handling, I'm not going to check anything on that except automatically open JPEGs with settings and TIFF automatically open TIFFs with settings. Just one of those things. And performance, we're going to use graphics processors. And then we're going to click OK. We've got one other area, though, that we've got to do, and there's a lot more work under that area because you see under Preferences, I've got all kinds of stuff that we have to do. So under General, the most important is double-click Edits, Camera Raw Settings, and Bridge. What this means is when I double-click one of these photos over here, it will open it into Adobe Camera Raw, which is a software I'm going to show you um, in future videos. So we need that. Just double-click any photo. It's going to open it in Adobe Camera Raw. You can do this. Click opens the loop for previewing, but I'm going to show you another way that we can do that. Favorites right here. 
I'm clicking several items that I want to show up as my favorites. Follow my cursor over to this left hand side and you see that I've got curse that I've got favorites already set over on this left hand side and that's where these come in if you'd like to set anything here. Advanced we're going to use generate monitor size previews leave everything else unchecked and then change your language cache remember that cache keep 100% previews in cache and compact cache at exit but remember periodically you're going to purge your cache to get rid of all those thumbnails that you have that you're not going to be using anymore cache management you can compact your cache right now or you can purge all your local cache either one just in case you want to ever do those don't click either of those now file type association this is how you're telling your computer to handle different types of files so for instance I'm a Canon shooter and we have raw files that are CRWs and CR2s anytime that my computer sees a CRW or a CR2 and I double click on it I want it to open in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. The same thing would hold true if I were shooting in, uh, if I were a, a Nikon shooter or any of the other cameras that are shooting RAWs. And so this is where you're just telling your computer what software you want to use when you open that. For instance, we've got PDFs opening in those in preview right here. This is a good place also for you to go clean up which software is handling which file on your computer, especially if you've been using other softwares to process your photos. Interface. This is what color I want my interface back here on Bridge to be. Do I want it to be light gray, or do I want it to be lighter gray, or do I want it to be white? Totally up to you. I prefer personally prefer to use black. How big do you want your fonts to be? This is where you can set that up. Keywords. Show you this in another video, but check automatically apply parent keywords and check read hierarchical keywords. And I'll show you where this comes into play later on. Labels. This is if you want to use some colored labels so you can change these around for what you want the colors to be. This is where we color code these images back here. Media cache. Uh, do not delete cache files automatically. So I want to choose whether I delete cache files versus having the computer decide that for me. Metadata. This is a big area and I'll devote one video just to metadata. But what I want you to do is I want you to click and unclick each one of these and then pull it up, click and unclick to erase all of those. But in IPTC Core, International Press Telecommunications Committee, I want you to check these creator, creator's address, city, state, postal code, phone, email, website, scroll, description and keyword, click those, and then come down here and do click in credit line, source, copyright notice, copyright status, and rights usages and terms. What we're going to do is we're going to embed your name, address, telephone number, email address, website, description of the photo, keywords of the photo, and your copyright information in every photo. And we're going to do, some of this is super, super simple to do, and some of this is a little bit more complicated, but those are the areas that I want you to click and activate, and you'll see how we'll use them in the next video. Under IPTC extension, click and eliminate all of those. Minimize it. Don't click, don't um, click fonts, don't click linked fonts, any of these camera data. Once again, click it and unclick every single one of them. Your name, excuse me, your camera data is embedded in every photo and you can always see it later on. We just don't need to see it here. Same thing with GPS. If you want to use it, leave it here. If not, go ahead and unclick it. Camera raw information also, unclick all of that. 
audio information, unclick all of that, and then video information, unclick all of that. And all I'm doing to unclick it is I'm clicking them all and then unclicking them all at the exact same time. Do the exact same thing for DICOM, and then that should leave us with a clean area in, in metadata except IPTC core. Once again, show you that in the next video. Output, click the view PDFs, forget the next one, click the last three on the bottom, playback, playback audio automatically when previewed, loop the files, and then loop the videos when previewed. You can change this later on once you know a little bit more about these areas. Startup scripts. At startup, I only want to see Bridge and I want to see Photoshop. I don't want to see all these other options that I have. So I've unclicked all the other options and only clicked those two options. Photoshop, excuse me, Adobe Bridge and Adobe Photoshop. Thumbnails, I've clicked prefer, prefer thumbnail generation over preview generation. Show transparency grid and Underneath each one of these thumbnails over here, and over on my, on my bridge, I want to see the date created and I want to see my keywords. Click those for now and then later on, and you just pull down for date created, pull down for keywords. Later on you might find that you want to see something else. You want to see a third line and that's totally up to you, but for right now just click those two, get those two set, and then we're in good shape. Click OK, and now you have set all of your preferences for Adobe Bridge. So your, Bri your preferences, once again, are simply right here under a Camera Raw Preferences. We had three of those that we needed to set, and then the big granddaddy of all the preferences was right here under Preferences. Windows users, you're going to file it, find those under File. So now that we've set preferences in our bridge, come back, join me for another video, and I'll show you how we set metadata in our photographs, and then I'll show you how we rename. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm Kathy Adams-Clark, and I appreciate your time.